Welcome back to Golf Extra. For the last 25 years, who the greatest golfer in the world is hasn't been up for debate. It's Tiger Woods. However, Tiger's reign as the king of the golf world may be drawing to a close considering the major injuries that he's gone through in recent years. Just how much time does Tiger have left in his playing days? Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this one. Now let's get right into the rumors surrounding Tiger's possible retirement. Throughout his long and illustrious career, Tiger Woods has gone through his fair share of adversity. This included several back injuries, issues in his personal life, and the inevitable spots of struggle with his actual golf game. However, perhaps the biggest challenge of Woods' career popped up in February 2021, when, while traveling to a filming event near Los Angeles, Woods was involved in a horrific single-car accident. Woods veered off of a roadway while driving a sponsor's Genesis GV80 SUV, rolling over the vehicle and putting his life in danger. While Woods survived the accident, which was in some doubt initially, but suffered several fractures in the main bones of his right leg, as well as additional injuries to his right foot and ankle. Once he was stabilized, there was immediate concern about if the golf legend would be able to play the game he loved again. The speculation was ongoing for some time, until Woods made his first public comment since the accident at the Hero World Challenge in November 2021. About the condition of his leg, Woods said, It's altered. My right leg doesn't look like my left, put it that way. He added, I'm lucky to be alive and also have a limb. Elaborating further, Woods described his healing process. This one's been much more difficult. The knee stuff was one thing, that's one level, than the back. With this right leg, it's hard to explain how difficult it is. Being immobile for three months, just to lay there. I was just looking forward to getting outside. That was a goal of mine, especially for a person who lived his entire life outside. That was a goal. I transitioned from a wheelchair to crutches and now nothing. It's been a lot of hard work, but there's a long way to go. Regarding actual playing golf, Woods had even more to say. I can still play, but I'm in a cart. Being a weekend warrior is easy. That's not that hard. Hit your ball, hop in a cart, ride, barely step out of the cart, grab your club and hit the next one. And the longest walk you have is probably from what? The cart to the green and back? I can do that, that's not that hard. But walking on a golf course, that's a totally different deal. Then walking out here for days on end, long days. Don't forget when my back was bad, when we had rain delays and had to reactivate everything and go back out there again, I've still got that issue too. I've got a long way to go. Did it give me hope? Yes, it did because I went through a very difficult year last year. Just like he had done several times before though, Woods fought through the recovery process and eventually made his return to competitive golf on a limited basis. He was able to tee off at the 2023 Masters and even made the cut. However, there would be no magic like there was in 2019 this time. After only 14 holes of Woods' third round, he was forced to withdraw due to issues from his injuries. In a statement on Twitter, he said, I'm disappointed to have to withdraw this morning due to re-aggravating my plantar fasciitis. Thank you to the fans and to the Masters who have shown me so much love and support. Good luck to the players today. The withdrawal came as a bit of a shock to some golf fans, but given what Tiger had said prior to the round, it didn't seem to be quite as much of a surprise. Before the round, he said, I don't know how many more I have in me, just to be able to appreciate the time and cherish the memories. I'm very lucky to have the leg. Mobility and endurance going forward, it will never be the same. I can't prepare and play as many tournaments as I'd like, but that's okay, and I'm okay with it. This statement proved prophetic given Tiger's eventual withdrawal, but Tiger himself had nothing further to say on the matter. However, his friend and occasional playing partner Jason Day gave a lengthier statement to the press regarding Tiger's ongoing injury issues, saying, It was obviously difficult to watch because he had to come out and then play through some shocking weather in the morning, and then he had to take a little bit of a break and come back out and play again. He looked like he was laboring pretty hard wasn't the perfect conditions for him to say the least, but what an effort to be able to at least get through the second round and at least make the cut. It's disappointing for him to have to withdraw, but that's just kind of where he's at with how his body is right now. Especially big fans of Tiger's game will remember that Tiger played through another painful injury back in 2008 on his way to a US Open win at Torrey Pines. That year, Tiger had two stress fractures and a torn ACL in his left leg and famously gutted his way through a difficult tournament and playoff against Rocco Mediate to get that win. Could Tiger pull off a similar feat in his later years? According to golf commentator Nick Faldo, it isn't likely. At the Masters, Faldo said, Unfortunately, this injury is worse than the injury at the 2008 US Open. The amount of rehab each and every day is brutal. Feels even worse if you're not shooting a decent score. How long can he keep putting himself through that? 
That question is the crux of the issue. How much longer can Tiger's body hold up, given how much stress it has accumulated over the years? One more person weighed in recently, Tiger's often outspoken former swing coach Hank Haney, who said on his podcast recently, why would Tiger retire? I mean, what's the upside to retiring? There's certainly no financial upside. There's no reason to say you're retired. Haney makes a good point. Unlike in other team sports, golf allows established players to play as many or as few tournaments as they'd like to. In Tiger's case, he could play only the majors each year and still be a huge draw for the tour. However, Haney brings up another good point in saying, why would he give up the PIP money from the PGA Tour? PIP money that they give out to Tiger Woods for being the most influential person in professional golf every year. Why would he? For those not in the know, the PIP is the Player Impact Program, which rewards the PGA Tour's top players for appearing at key events, drawing and TV ratings, and other business-related incentives. Tiger has earned up to $15 million in the recently introduced program, and there's no sign of his popularity going down anytime soon. So why retire? As Tiger himself put it though, golf isn't his top priority anymore given the trauma that his body has gone through. All we need to do to see that it is to go back to Woods' first public comments back in November 2021, where he talks about just how lucky he is, not only to be able to still play golf, but to still have all four limbs. I'm very lucky, very lucky. As a lot of you guys know, I didn't know if I was going to have the right leg or not, so to be able to have my right leg still there, it's huge. I still have a lot of issues with it, but it's mine, and I'm very thankful for that. Thankful for all the surgeons and doctors and nurses that for all the countless surgeries that we went through and countless rehabs and the physical therapy sessions are brutal, but it's still mine, and I'm very thankful for that. After all, Tiger has nothing left to prove in golf. Anything he does now is just the cherry on top of the gigantic Sunday that is and was his golf career. So what do you think about the rest of Tiger Woods' career? Do you think he'll get back to competitive form in majors? Be sure to leave us a comment with what you think down below. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you can watch our latest content updates as soon as they drop. We'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.